guys, I've been really looking forward to filming this. Um, I'm going to do another flip through of my Filofax Malden in the color stone, the size is pocket. Um, I've been in this planner since November, um, but I recently did some new stuff and I wanted to show you. So there's going to be a lot of pictures of my baby. Um, because I, I went a little crazy. I got a, an HP spot, Sprocket printer for, uh, no, for my birthday. Um, and so I've been using that a lot. It's a lot of fun. So yeah, let's start with the pockets in the front. I've got my driver's license and some credit cards, a spare check and a few stamps, and then one quarter in here um, for the cart. If I ever go to Aldi, if I'm in that area, I stop by and pick up a few groceries because they are a good deal. I usually keep my, um, uh, what's it called, Pilot Friction Pen in the front just like this. I don't really use the pen loop. I kind of just ignore it. Um, it's a little, it would be a little bit tight for this pen, but I don't want to have to change the pen I use, so I just kind of stick it here. And then I just have to remember to pull it out and I start flipping, otherwise it gets slightly tight. A uh, little bit of acetate from Michaels. This is fun with the sprocket printer. Um, my husband, my baby, she's very cute. And again, <laughs> so uh, this is my next action items list. I did a whole video on that. Um, so check that out. This is my um, the recurring task list, so things that need to be done like once a month or once every so often. Um, I have those all here. There's room for more on the back, but there's nothing there right now. These are all of the recurring to-dos for my Hogwarts.com. I have to do each of these, it's like a 10 week rotation and then I have to do and remember to do things every week or so. Same on the other side. Then I've got a waiting on list, which mostly I've been using it sometimes. Um, I've got my someday maybe list and my soon definitely list. Not a lot of difference between the two, but yeah, that's, that's that. I did a video on these tabs. I made them on camera. Um, I don't blame you if you didn't watch the whole thing because there was a lot of flitzing around and not really knowing what I was doing. Um, but yeah, they're, they're working really well. I like having the three tabs here and I like that they match pretty colors and everything. So tab one is monthlies. That was New Year's Day and she's super cute in her. The first time in the swing, uh, we went to the park. Uh, this is my monthly, which I did a plan with me for. So you've seen this before, but uh, you can see my tracker is getting filled. I try to remember to come to this every day to fill it out. Um, and then just to double check that there's nothing, um, events and tasks, um, and then some to do's here. And then this is my future log. Um, this is from the Peanuts Planner Co. 2019 bundle. So I just kind of have a list of like things for each month that I put here and I will move them from here to the monthly once I do my February plan with me. Look out for that hopefully next week. This insert I showed before is my um, birthdays insert. It's just a list of people's birthdays and what year they were born, if applicable. There's also some anniversaries and a feast day or two in here. Tab number two is Ripley's. That's your Christmas picture. She's a cutie. Oh my goodness. All right, so these are all the weeklies, uh, yeah, from like this month. So New Year's and then I may have shown I think this one, when I talked about the Alistair weeklies, um, this is what I've been doing just for January. I have a one page weekly here and then an, um, an Alistair task list on the other side and then it flops, flips back this way so that they're only printed on the back of themselves. This is last week's, which I guess I never finished processing. Um, and then this is this week. Just doing a, a tiny little bit of a splash of color and I, I'm liking having this here. I'm still moving things to dailies, um, but it, I really like using the Alistair Weeks for um, like planning out what day I want to get something done and kind of looking at what my, my load is for a particular day. I find it useful. Anyway, tab number three is 
looks like that, is dailies. Um, I've been doing just really basic rapid logging dailies. Um, she was sleepy, not angry, like she doesn't get <laughs> vindictive and stink high, but she just, uh, oh, I love that picture. It's so funny. All right. Uh, yeah, normal sort of dailies that I've just been rapid logging. Um, I've been sort of color coding the header here to match the week it's in. Just, I don't know, for a pop of color. Um, I try to think, oh, I've been here, these circled numbers, I've been keeping track of my uh, milk consumption production. Um, I, I think I need to start doing an extra pumping session every day. I, I took up one in the evening and it's still not enough. Um, we're sending the baby to the babysitter more often and my stash is depleting. Um, also, yeah, I was doing a thing where I was like, uh, over the weekend, uh, sort of noting where or when I could do each thing. So you see like nap two, nap three, I was kind of planning out, um, you know, if she's napping, work on this. If she's awake, you know, I can, I can put her in the little exerciser and clean the living room, or I can put her on the floor of the nursery and do some laundry in there or whatever. Um, I'm just kind of trying to plan that out. I did the same thing here with a couple columns on Sunday. That kind of worked. It did not work. There might be a way to structure it where that's more of like the structure of the whole daily instead of something sort of shoved on the side. Anyway, and here we are today. And so this, uh, let's, this little ruler guy came with the file effects. Um, I actually have been pulling it out and using it as a straight edge, which is very handy to have. Um, this little clip I've had for years, I guess I had it in my um, personal size traveler's notebook back when that was a thing. And so now, stealth tabs, did you notice there are six more tabs here? Ah, I made these, I just finished making them yesterday, and I think they're really cute, so I want to show you. First of all, there's this one. This is, well, you can see all the information. First of all, uh, it says, when you hear free donut day was yesterday. Uh, wah, wah. I just thought that was cute. These are um, like art prints and things that I got from Comic-Con. Not this last summer, because I was on my turn to leave, but the summer before. Um, this one was like a little flyer thingy, kind of cardboardy, pretty thick. Um, so I didn't want to put anything on the back of it, but you can see... Uh, there you go, becute.com, that's where that's from. So I just kind of left it on the back, whatever. Some project pages, general thingies, uh, debt tracking, wish lists, gift card tracking, list of things I want to watch. I'm going to do a video on this someday. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, I've shown you this sticker before, and this is my content calendar. Um, this folds out, but I have it kind of folded back like this because that's just quicker to easier to access than trying to like write on it and then put it back. So I'm just leaving it off this way. Um, I did a video on how I used my content calendar last month. This month is less crazy because I'm not doing vlogmas, but um, it's the same idea, just less colorful. Video ideas, video ideas, video notes and things, and I don't really want to give you too much of a view of that because yeah, surprise. <laughs> You'll be surprised when it happens. So all of these tabs, um, I didn't really say, I laminated um, and then just cut out the tab part. I don't know how well you can see this. I cut out the tab part just out of the plastic laminate. Um, so there's nothing paper underneath it, it's just the laminate. Or the, you know, the sleeve or pocket. Um, and I really like that it allows me to have they're kind of stealthy. They're not like sticking out and be like, oh, tabs. Yeah. Um, so they're kind of stealth. They're kind of um, sleek and minimalist because, you know, clear plastic is in. Um, but also they allow me to sort of theme the tab uh, without having to have like a whole thing that are all, a whole set of tabs that all match. Like these three match very nicely. They're all the same color, you know. They came from the same pack of paper. But what if I wanted, you know, this one to, I found, I don't know, a piece of scrapbook paper that said daily on it and I wanted to use that, like I couldn't just replace this one because then it wouldn't match. You know what I mean? Here I can replace one and just clear tabs and it'll be fine. Anyway, as you can tell from this themed paper, this section is baby stuff. Very cute. Then there's another piece of acetate, another photo. Uh, this is the packing list that I go through when we send the baby to the um, 
the babysitter, there's, you know, it's like six in the morning. We get up earlier so that I can set her off with my husband to go drop her off. And I basically roll out of bed and I have like half, I give myself like half an hour to get her dressed and get everything in the car and feed her. I try to pack up the night before, but don't always. And basically I need to have this written down. I check this almost every single time. Uh, to make sure that I'm not forgetting something. One day I actually, like, I sent all the milk she needed, but I forgot her bottle. <laughs> so I had to go and bring it and, you know, don't want to forget stuff. And then on the back, um, this is stuff that has been left there. Um, not, like, every single day, because, like, we had to bring the pack and play for her Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. She was there on Tuesday and Wednesday, so it's there overnight. That's fine. But if I leave something there over the weekend, I just kind of don't want to forget. And basically, it's not like it's a huge deal if I do forget, but it's occupying that mental space that it doesn't need to. So if I write it down, I don't have to worry about it. I printed out all these milestones um, from a website. I don't know if you just Google like baby milestones. Uh, these are the months uh, seven to nine different milestones and things. And so I just kind of like being able to go through every so often and check off the ones that she's meeting. I don't know. Uh, warning signs. Those are fine too. This is a list of things that I wouldn't mind buying for her. Um, or this is also something I was putting together for a Christmas wish list. So we got several of these things from there. So I crossed those off, but you know, just things that I, if I think of something that would be a, a cool toy or you know, useful item for her. I write it down just because, you know, wish lists can be useful. And then this one is the uh, babysitting calendar. The dots correspond to different people who watch the baby on different days. And I know what that means because I use the same color code like on the Google calendar and on last year's insert and all of that. Um, so that's just to keep track of myself in case I forget or in case I want to look back. And then this column here, uh, these numbers are how many ounces of milk I have. And as you see, yes, they have been depleting a little bit. Um, so yeah, I want to deal with that, work on that. If you have a favorite Galactagog, leave it in the comments below. This section also is me obsessing about milk supply. Um, the light gray is how much she eats and the dark gray is how much I pump. And, um, yeah, the, the different lines sort of are day to day and sort of, uh, it's a, it's a mess. And I think I'm going to reformat this a little bit differently for next time, for next month. Um, but that's what I've been working with. And these are some notes I took about baby lid weaning. All right. Uh, next section here is my Hogwarts stuff. I felt terrible cutting up this art print. Uh, it was a two-sided art print again from Comic-Con. And I was like, it felt, there was a five by seven. <laughs> it felt just wrong to chop it up, but it fits really nicely. It's all framed and pretty and this, you know, owls and Hedwig. And, uh, this is the 2019 year's calendar uh, for my Hogwarts. Just, it shows me like, oh, look, year 47, week one, two, three. Um, it's for reference, so I can look forward and go, oh, that's going to be during the summer. Uh, this is the Wiz U stuff. None of this has changed. Some notes for some teaching stuff at Wiz U. Some notes for the Summer Lecture Series at Wiz U. Notes for astronomy, though, things that need to be updated. And then this is the note on the, um, the scholarship that we run every other summer at Wiz U. And so I'm going to need this. Like, I needed it for the dates in November. And then I'm going to need it again in May. Um, I needed it the previous May, and then I needed to like dig through all of my different notebooks to try to find it so that I could basically copy the same information. So I'm just going to leave this in here for now. Maybe I'll digitize it and, and save it for later somewhere else. <clears throat> also from Comic-Con, this was a postcard from an artist booth. Um, so you can see the postcardiness there. Um, it said London, but I just kind of chopped it off and left just a pretty, the pretty lady. This section I'm not going to actually flip all the way through, but it's uh, notes and things on the writing career that I'm kind of sort of trying to get kickstarted, and I've been very lazy, but there you go. Um, and then this one was a London postcard, you can see who Ben, so it's kind of a giveaway, but there you go, it did also say London somewhere, and I chopped it up. These uh, were pretty thick prints, and then they're laminated, so they're kind of chunky, but I guess that's good. They're uh, resilient, strong. 
sticker is on some acetate, same same acetate, and then this is my brain dump page. So um, instead of it having its own tab, this this last tab is for like I don't know if I need another section. It's here. The idea is it's for like one-off projects and things. If I'm like, I need to work on this project, it needs multiple pages, I'm going to stick them all in one place. Like where I put all my Christmas stuff in one section, for example. Um, if I'm working on maybe planning a party that needs multiple spreads, whatever. If it's more than I want to keep in this sort of generic reference slash project section, then I will put it in this section. For now it's empty, and then this piece of acetate is the divider. Plus this little charm. Uh, this used to be attached to the um, the jump band or something. No, the spine. Anyway, on my traveler's notebook, back again in that same um, ooh, pocket, personal size traveler's notebook. Um, it's just really cute. I did all flip through at some point that I mentioned where it came from. I could find out if you're interested. Comment below, but I'll just leave it there if you want to look for that. Um, I stuck it on this little, I don't know, I don't have a lot of jewelry making supplies, but whatever this is, I think it's part of one of those clasps that like, I'm not making sense, like a bar that goes through. Um, this is the hole that the bar goes through. Uh, it works enough that it uh, doesn't get kind of tangled up. As if I were to clip the claw onto the ring, it would be too tight. So that just kind of extends it. And it's sort of a bookmark, sort of just decoration. Um, I thought it might bother me, but I've honestly kind of forgot it was there a lot of times. So anyway, that's there as a bookmark. And then this is the brain dump page, and then the rest of it is um, spare note papers and things, a couple sheets of stickers in the back, same stickers. I have used some of them now. And then also bits of like washi tape that got ripped off and um, they're just here so that I don't lose them. I don't have to throw them away. A little jot pad. I'm going to do a video on these too. And then uh, this pocket also came with the file of facts and it just has my Ulta member card, which I guess I never use, and uh, some washi tape on there for when I want it. For storage. There's some note paper in here. I honestly forget what that was, but I should probably find out if I still need it. Oh, I switched to Mint Sim. <laughs> To Mint Mobile um, from Cricut. If you guys are like looking for, I don't know, there's probably, if you want info on that, like ask me and I can tell you my experience so far. Uh, anyway, that's in there in case I need it. And then in the back is just some cash and our envelope from church with the check for next month. Um, just, you know, sorry for next week. I don't usually write them in advance, but I wrote one in advance so that I would have it. Uh, and there we go. So that is everything. I basically just really wanted to show you that I've been playing around with my laminator and having a whale of a time. Um, they, I really liked the way that these turned out. I, I really wish that they showed up better on camera. I keep looking up at the viewfinder and I'm not sure if you can even see them at all, but there they are, all my stealth tabs. I really like that because it was too busy before with all of those multiple tabs. Um, I went down from 12 to nine. <laughs> Which still seems like a lot, considering I used to be in a traveler's notebook with four inserts and that was it. Um, but yeah, I I might still try to eliminate some other things. I'm thinking of trying to find something that I can stick in here that would basically be like a bookmark, but with something funny, cute sticking off the top, you know, like a little chibi eyes of some sort. Um and then laminate that and stick it in here so that it sticks out and is cute and decorative but then if you pull it out it's this thing basically it would have like spare washi tape wrapped around it that is my vision but the thing is I have no idea what it would look like on top or what I would be laminating to achieve that so if you have any ideas I really don't know the first thing about decorating a planner um, as you can see it's pretty functional or at least I think so I guess by my standards, by a lot of people's standards, I think it's pretty functional. All right, too much fun, and I will see you guys in the next video on Sunday. I think we're talking about diapers again, so if that's not your jam, I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.